Hi everyone, it's Vela with uh, another Eden Editor tutorial for you. This one's in response to a question from Tim Arnold, which asks about using radio triggers to activate um, other triggers or tasks. So I'll show you how to do that. This is a pretty simple thing to do. First thing we need is a playable unit, of course, and I'll just place this guy down here. Then we need some tasks because you want your triggers to actually do something. So first we'll go up to F5 or systems down to Intel, create task, place that down. From the same place at the bottom there we have a set task state. So grab that and place that down. We also need two triggers. So the first, well you go up to F3 here. The first trigger is the one at the top, which you'll see doesn't have a particular size or scale because we don't need it to be a particular size or scale because this is going to be our radio trigger. Second one is, I'll use a 10 by 10 by 10, which is what I use often for these sorts of demos. So that's all we need for the radio uh, trigger. So we'll just open up the task first, or the create task module. We'll go to owner as all playable units. We'll have task one, and then we'll just make the task move. And in the description, move straight ahead. And we'll set it to assigned and then click OK. In the set task state module, we double click that. We'll go to set that as succeeded. And then we need to do something with these triggers. So this is the trigger that your troops will enter into that you want to complete the task or succeed the task. So we need to double click on this trigger to open it up. And we're going to go into activation type, any player, and then present will automatically appear there. So when our players enter this trigger area, the task will, via this module, succeed. So we need to right click the trigger, go to connect, sync to, the set task state. We then need to sync the set task state by right clicking sync to the create task module. And the trigger to activate this task is our radio trigger down here. So we're going to open up the radio trigger by double right, uh, double left clicking, sorry. And in activation, we're going to select, we go down the list, radio alpha. Okay, and click OK. Now we need to right click this, go to connect, sync to the create task module. So now when radio trigger alpha is activated, this task will fire. And I'll show you how to get to the radio trigger. Okay, we're in the mission and we've got our create task module, set task state module, and two triggers. Uh, you'll notice that there's no task has popped up. We can't see anything at all. And that's because we haven't used the radio trigger. To get to the radio trigger, you can either press 0 then 8 on your keyboard, but because I'm using ACE, if I press 0, it will unholster my weapon. So I'm going to press backspace key, scroll to reply, scroll down to radio, and then I'm going to select alpha, which is the trigger that we bound the task to. And there we go. When radio trigger alpha is fired, the task will pop up. And once we enter that task, into that trigger area, it will be completed. There we go. Task completed. Move. That's a pretty easy thing to do. Um, I'll go back and do a quick recap just to make sure that uh, it's been understood. Okay, so we have our playable unit. We have our task that's been created with our create task module, which is synced to the set task state and that is set as succeeded. We have the trigger area synced to the set task state to complete the task. And in this, we have activation any player present. And we have our radio trigger here synced to the create task module. And inside this trigger, when you hover over it, you'll see trigger radio alpha present. 
okay so activation type is radio alpha uh, you can use from alpha down to Juliet so it only gives you a limited number um, I've selected alpha and okay so that's really all you need to do um, I use radio triggers in my missions when I want something to occur at a particular point in time in the mission that way I know that I'm not going to have one of the players cross a trigger area like this to activate a task or to do something else um, I know that it will only fire when the radio trigger alpha is uh, fired um, there's another couple of things you can do with radio triggers as you can with normal triggers so I'm just going to leave our radio alpha trigger there I'm going to go to systems to environment is it environment effects and I'm going to go with ordinance so if you want your players to have a uh, more immersive combat environment when uh, they're at a particular point in the mission I'm going to place down an ordinance module I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste that over there and one over there and one over there highlight all of those right click connect sync to radio offer and I'll show you how that works okay we're back in the mission and you want to use a radio trigger to do pretty much anything in the game um, at a particular point in time so again radio, remembering our radio alpha trigger is synced to four ordnance modules so let's go backspace then select reply then scroll down to radio and when I select radio alpha we'll get some explosions to our front or mortars firing so there you go all fired at once so you can sync them to different triggers to get different time intervals between the rounds coming in etc so I hope that's answered your uh, question Tim mm. if uh, you meant something else or you uh, aren't sure about that just uh, let me know and I'll see what I can do to help you out <laughs> thanks for watching uh, if you like the content you get something from it please give us a like and a, and a subscribe and uh, I'll see you in the next video